Hello, everybody. Thanks for joining us, Coach. We'll start uh, just with your opening thoughts on today's game, and then we'll take some questions from the group. Well, I thought it was a really hard fought, well played game by both teams. Uh, it really was a good basketball game. Uh, some ups and downs, some ebbs and flows. Um, we'd go on a run. I think we built a nine or a 10 point lead and then they would come back and then took the lead and it was back and forth. So from a fan perspective and just a basketball, um, you know, coach and player perspective, it's really well played game by both teams. Good win by us. I'm really proud of us. Again, we're showing our medal in close games down the stretch. Um, you know, this is a team that came in averaging, I don't know, 80, 283, 84 points a game, and uh, we held them to 66, which is uh, is significant. Um, and then, you know, down the stretch, we made some winning plays, which is what you got to do. We got some stops at the right time, and then Maddie gets an offensive rebound on a free throw, which gets us an extra possession, and I think we got a steal late. So those are winning, those are winning plays that you have to have late in the game. But uh, I Lynn, uh, I give uh, a lot of credit to Utah. This is the best team Lynn's had. Uh, they're a very good team. Uh, I, I don't know where they were in the net today. I think they were 18 or 19. So that's obviously they're a very well-recognized uh, team nationally. So we'll take it, you guys. We'll take it. We'll start with uh, Rob Mosley, then Andrew, you'll be next. Obviously, the start of a busy week. Did that impact the way you coached this game at all, or was this one played in a vacuum from your perspective? Uh, I never looked forward, you guys. The only time I'd ever look forward is if we uh, had a big lead and wanted to rest some people for the next game. But uh, obviously, that that didn't present itself tonight. Uh, this was the only game that's important to us. So uh, we, we talk about when, what's important now. And this is all that was important. So, um, and I don't think we were overtaxed minute wise. We'll, we'll relax a little bit tomorrow. These, these guys are 18 to 22 year olds. They're, they're in good shape and they'd rather play. I mean, if we didn't play today, we were going to have a practice and our Wednesday practices are notoriously our toughest ones of the week. I'm gritching and complaining and, and uh, we're doing a lot of defense and a lot of competition and people are getting punched and hit and, you know, so I'm, I'm sure they'd rather play a game. Go to Andrew, then James will be next. Yeah, Kelly, uh, India, Tahina and Elise combined for one of 14 from three. I think you guys were five of 23 from three. You've won games in a variety of different ways this year, but was it nice to just see that one? the shots aren't falling for three of arguably your best three point shooters that you can still find the way, find a way to win games in, in other ways. Well, yeah, but you can't get away with those kind of numbers very long. Um, we are the number one three point shooting team in the conference uh, percentage wise. So that obviously doesn't happen often. Uh, but uh, yeah, they, we, we just got to do a better job there. Um, that being said, we found other ways to win. I thought second half, Early on, we went into just Niara and they were collapsing two and three. And then we kicked it out and we shot better in the second half. Uh, Sydney hit a couple of big ones for us. And uh, that's all you need is just a, a couple to, to, to go. And Elise hit one as well. So um, that was one of the things we wanted to do in the second half, just do a better job of getting it inside, which is what we wanted to do in the first half, but didn't. So, um, yeah, I, I have I have faith in, and those guys are going to shoot better. James, you're up. Zach could be next. You kind of hit on it there, Kelly. Was it anything that they were doing to take Niara in the inside game away in the first half? I know she got the second foul with about two minutes before half, but you know she wasn't getting a lot of shots in the first half. Were you, were you guys taking yourselves out of it, or were they taking you out of it? A little bit of both. A little bit of both, James. Um, you know, sometimes we don't roll as aggressively as we should. We don't carve out space inside like we should. Uh, we knew we weren't going to be able to go with a big lineup very much because of their three-point game. Um, you know, so you want to get Sedona more time than that. But, uh, yeah, so to, yeah, the honest truth is, you know, they did a pretty good job. They got us on two charges on rolls. Uh, I thought they were pretty physical inside, but once, you know, Niara just got herself 
uh, in a, in a better position and then just, you know, caught the ball in a position of strength, then good things happened to us. Then when they double team, she found open shooters. And there were a couple of times when she herself was able to make a move and score. So it's just, uh, we just did a better job of doing what we wanted to do early. Zach, you're up. Jared, you'll be next. Then Eric after that. Kelly, you kind of touched on her right there, but I know she was in foul trouble, but only eight minutes for Sedona. Was that by design at all, or is that kind of just how the game ended up playing out? Yeah, it's just one of those things, you guys, where depending on the opponent, it's not going to be every game, but these guys were going with four guards, sometimes five. And to be as effective as we wanted to do at the other end, uh, defensively, it was going to be difficult to play uh, with, uh, with a bigger lineup. That was just the, we wanted to do it. And, it, and when we tried to do it a couple of times, it just, it wasn't that effective. I'm no rocket scientist, but threes count more than twos. So if we're making twos and they're making threes at the end of the game, you know, that's Jared. their type of game. Kelly, I, I know you touched on Sydney a bit, but just how crucial was she, especially down the stretch when some of those threes, like you said, aren't falling for other players? Huge. That's what I love about Sydney, man. She could miss five in a row and she's going to take the six. She could miss 10 in a row and she's going to make the 11th or at least shoot it. And then when she uh, gets on a roll, she can really kind of get it heated up. Uh, I thought both of her threes in the second half were huge for us, were just huge. And it came at the right time in the right spot. So good on her. I, 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 you know, have a ton of faith in her. And then we were able to platoon her and uh, Shania defensively down the stretch. And I continues to do a great job uh, defensively late. So it's nice to have those kind of options as a coach. Eric, you're up. Ryan, you'll be next. Max will be next. Coach, I'm not sure we'll get a chance to uh, speak with you before UCLA on Friday. Just uh, early thoughts on that. And then just the week in whole, three home games, but three pretty tough teams. Just kind of what's the approach? Well, I think this is a big homestand for us, you guys. This is where we want to really put ourselves in a great position to, to be chasing Stanford for a, for a championship. we got to take care of business at home. UCLA is obviously playing very well. They're, we're tied with them now uh, for second place in the conference. Each of us have a loss. Um, but, you know, you, you just got to take care of business at home. I mean, that's just the, the reality. I, I don't know who they're going to have. It seems like I've heard some rumblings that they're going to have another player or two available this week. Uh, they've been like us in some ways where we were early in the year, just playing seven or eight players. Um, but, you know, when they get healthy and, and even without being healthy, they're a really good team. I think they've won five or six in a row and playing really, really well. I give them a ton of credit. Um, but, the, yeah, I, I just hope tonight they play Arizona. I hope Arizona's just physical with them and takes them into a triple overtime. And uh, you know what I mean? That's what we're hoping for. Uh, I, I'm glad they rescheduled that game because I was thinking, well, they're going to have all week to prepare for us. And they kind of did that one late, if I'm not mistaken, kind of figured that one out late. So uh, they're going to be in the same boat and they're shorter in depth than us. And so that might be a, a positive in our, in our uh, uh, favor this week, but make no mistake about it. They've got some marquee players. Osborne's one of the best player guards in the country. And uh, that Amari, uh, the transfer from Cincinnati is, she's a load, man. That kid can score. And Natalie chose, she's Sabrina's age and she's still playing. So she's like in her ninth year and, uh, and plays like quite a veteran. So it's going to be a good team. Coach Corey does an awesome job and UCLA is always in the mix. And I haven't even turned to USC. I have no, no idea what they do. I've seen them play, but I, I, you know, I don't get too far ahead of myself in preparation. Ryan, go ahead. Max will be next. Coach, you mentioned a little bit about Sedona in terms of the matchup today, but in her career, she had never been held off of the scoring column. It's now been back-to-back -back games in which she's been held to zero. How much do you read into that, or is it not too much of an issue for you? She'll be fine. We don't win either game last weekend without her. She had a great weekend. Now she's struggled for a couple of games. Part of it is she hasn't 
played a ton. Um, but, you know, next game she might play 30 minutes and, uh, and be great. So you just – I don't read too much into it. I might just need to pick her up a little bit. You know, maybe she's feeling down about her performance, and she should not. She still got three rebounds in the minutes that she played tonight. So there were some good things that she did. Max, go ahead. James will be in. Coach, uh, you guys brought in some new faces, uh, you know, before the season. Uh, I know you said you, you'd ideally want to shoot a little bit better from distance today, but you got four different players and, and double figures. Uh, as you head into this uh, tough stretch of your schedule, really important, how do you feel the, the team is gelling, uh, you know, especially offensively, had some great ball movement today? Yeah, you know, the last two games, I've been impressed with how we're taking care of the ball. We had eight turnovers the other night, only 11 tonight. Uh, that's that's really good. I mean, that's taking care of the ball. Uh, it's funny you say a tough, tough stretch. Look at my schedule and you tell me which part of it is not tough. I mean, you know, it, this, is, uh, this is in the Pac-12, man. Everybody can beat you on any given night. They're all tough games. But uh, I, I see your point. Go ahead, James. We'll end there. You touched on uh, UCLA and, and Osborne in particular, Kelly. Um, wanted your thoughts on a, kind of a really broad perspective and last year and playing them. And the first meeting was close and you guys, you know, just didn't come through late and they, they got a close win. And the second one kind of kind of came to be the defining trip, the defining game of your season. How different is your team, is your program, are the players who are there for that debacle than they were 11 months ago? I, I don't think our kids could tell you who, how we played against them last year. I know it was ugly down at their place. I know they beat us pretty good. We had a chance to win it here at home. I think it was a two-point game, and we just made some tough, tough decisions down the stretch, both ends of the floor. You know, I, I, I don't think he used last year as a comparison, to be honest with you. I mean, we're a different team, really. Andy Rogers wasn't here last year, and we have those six or seven newcomers that weren't here last year. Uh, you know, I think in sports, you just compartmentalize that. Last I checked, the WNBA Rookie of the Year, Michaela onion isn't on their roster this year. Uh, so, you know, different team. And we won't even look at last year's result or last year's games. Plus, I think, to be honest with you, James, you've been watching us. I think we're handling pressure better this year. You know, we we didn't uh, we didn't handle it better or very well last year. So teams that really got into us, uh, we panicked, turned the ball over too much, and really could never get into our offense. That's not been the case this year. When you look at Arizona, UCLA will try and pressure us as well. I think part of that is we have our practice guys. Part of it is we have more depth. Part of it is we're better defensively in a lot of ways. So I think we're more prepared for it. I hope we play well. That's that's my hope, and I think we will. Coach, if you got one, time for one more. I, I skipped one. Uh, Gabriel, got go it. I got Sydney over here. She's wearing her yellow. So she's Gabriel. serious about this. Thank you, Coach. I appreciate it. Um, you pointed to it earlier. I was just wondering um, – there's something you could point to in the first half. Uh, neither teams were able to score in the first two minutes. Or there's something that you could see uh, that went on. No, nah, I think teams filling it out. Uh, we missed a couple of shots. Um, no, I, I don't. I don't pay much attention. You played for 40 minutes. Heck, we were down at halftime and and really came out in the early third quarter and played well, built a nine point lead, and then we gave it back just as fast as we'd gotten it. It's just one of those games. Two good teams, you guys. Two good teams, two good teams that should be, I don't know where Utah falls in this whole thing, but they should be an NCAA tournament team as of now. So I, I, I like what I see out of them. And they're gonna they're gonna knock some people off. Thank you very much, coach. We appreciate it.